Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Virtus here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 animation series. In today's video we're going to be taking a look at animation blueprints and taking a moment to explain exactly what they're going to be doing and their role within Unreal Engine 4. We're then also going to be taking a moment to familiarize ourselves with the animation blueprint editor and roughly how it works, setting us up for when we create our own animation blueprint over the next few videos. There is a lot to cover within an animation blueprint and as such we're going to be uh, sort of breaking that down into your event graph, your anim graph, transitional rules, states and so on. Today I am just going to be giving you a rough overview. So for those of you that don't know what an animation blueprint is already, an animation blueprint is a blueprint like no other, a sort of like any other, you can write code in there, but its focus is to tell the engine when to play different animations. So if you've got something like a character where you're going to be changing the animation being played quite often, then you're going to want to have control over this. And the way you're going to do that is by using blueprints within this. You'll be setting up different states and then changing between these different states using blueprint code. You'll see this come to life as I open this up and break it down a little bit more for you. So if you want to find an animation blueprint, you can get one from the animation starter pack, which comes with the character that you've got in here. An animation blueprint is going to have a dark orange tab at the bottom of it, and also when you hover over it as well, it should say animation blueprint. Go ahead and open this up and we'll take a look at exactly what's going in, uh, exactly what's going on. So for the most part, you will be pretty familiar with this interface as most of it is going to be from the main sort of animation tab we've been working from over the next, uh, past few videos. So if you want to, in the top right hand corner, you can go to the animation tab, the skeleton tab, the mesh tab, and so on. Now, the only difference with this one is that in the bottom left hand corner, you've got some blueprint stuff. So you've got access to variables which you can use to control your states. And then also you've got an event graph and then you've also got your locomotion tab as well. And I'm gonna be explaining those in just a bit. So the first one is going to be your anim graph. And if you wanna to get to the main anim graph, you can do so using these little tabs here at the top. So start off by clicking anim graph and then from here, you've got a state machine and your final animation pose. So your final animation pose is essentially the animation that's gonna be playing. And this state machine is going to be outputting information to that sort of every frame. And within this, if you double click it, we've got different states. And that state machine is going to be switching between these different states, depending on sort of the code and the setup that you've got. We've got some transitional rules which are going to tell it when to play the different states, but we'll go into a little bit more detail with that later on in the series over the next few videos. Within these, uh, sort of within this locomotion, you've got the different states. Like I said, if you double click on one of these, for example, the uh, for example the idle state, inside of here you have simply got an animation, and within each one of these you are going to have a different animation or animation blend space depending on what you want to do. So, rough, so overall, hopefully this gives you a rough idea of how a state machine works, how you have different states, and how you're essentially just switching between these using blueprints. Another one of the tabs that you've got is the event graph. And the event graph is where you're going to be writing some of this code. So for example, if you need to cast to the character blueprint and you need to get some speed information, then you can get that from here just by write, uh, writing some blueprint code for this. And you can write pretty much any code in here as it is a blueprint just like any other. And you've also got access to variables and so on down in the bottom left. Now that's pretty much everything that I wanted to talk to you guys about with animation blueprints for now. 
hopefully you should have a pretty good idea of how they work and I've set you up in a place where you are ready to move on and start creating the different parts. So creating your animation blueprint code, your animation states and transitional rules and so on and we'll be doing that over the next few videos. Once again guys that is everything, thanks again for watching, stay awesome, keep creating, your boy Virtus signing out. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.